Yeah, we've had, we've had a, we've had three triple digit days so far. Yeah. It was you know last Saturday, Sunday, and this past Monday. We've had a little bit of a break from that, but it looks like we might be headed back in that direction again. It's just it really just kind of the beat goes on with this this summertime heat force and maybe even intensifying a little bit as we head into next week. UNT and Denton sitting at 96, feeling like 104. Cedar Hill at 93, feeling like 100. The haze in the sky there, that Saharan dust that's out there, although. Maybe not as bad as it was yesterday. I do think it will be much hazier during the day tomorrow as we're going to get another round of kind of highly concentrated dust moving up into North Texas. Temperatures actually kind of a range of temperatures. I think it kind of depends on how much cloud cover you have overhead. Because look at look at Dallas sitting at 90 degrees, but you head down the road to Weatherford and it's 100 degrees. And up the road in Richardson and Plano, it's 93. McKinney, you're at 93. Mesquite's at 95. Not very far between Dallas and Mesquite. And a five degree temperature difference. So it kind of depends on, I think, whether or not you got some clouds over the head at the moment. Rockwall sitting at 94, but feeling like 100 because Dallas is only at 90, feels like 95. That's not all that bad, but Plano feels like 104. Greenville feels like 101. Weatherford, that was sitting at 100 degrees, feels like 103. And Fort Worth feels like 100 outside at the moment. So if you're taking the dog for the walk this evening, just remember uh, if you can't hold your hand or foot on the concrete or asphalt for seven seconds, then it's too hot for your dog as well. And the, those uh, temperatures can climb very, very quickly on that concrete and asphalt. So be careful with that. And that goes right on through the rest of the summer. We can just kind of repeat that forecast for you. All right, so big plume of Sahara dust out in the Atlantic right now, but there's also some down in the Gulf of Mexico, and that's what's going to be moving up our way as we head into the day tomorrow. The kind of the round that was out there yesterday is kind of dissipated a little bit, but I think it'll come back with in a vengeance during the day tomorrow. So a big old plume of dust moves up tomorrow. Very hazy sky during the day tomorrow uh, because of all that Saharan dust out there, but it'll start to kind of scatter out a little bit as we head through the day on Friday. Friday will definitely still be hazy, but maybe not as bad as what uh, we're going to be dealing with tomorrow. So in the Atlantic and Caribbean, it can reduce tropical storm or hurricane development. That's the impacts of that Saharan dust, but for us locally, we get those hazy afternoon skies and potentially more colorful sunrise and sunsets and also if it's thicker those of you with respiratory issues you might have some problems so just be aware that for most you won't even really notice it other than it's just the haziness out there but if you are sensitive to that sort of thing please be aware your temperatures are going to basically stay in the upper 90s through the rest of the week and into the weekend but it's next week where we get the triple digits although Maybe Friday hits 100 degrees, maybe Sunday hits 100 degrees. It, you know, could that temperature be 99 to 100? Sure. Could it be 98 to 99? Of course. We're just talking about, you know, one to two degree difference here between uh, whether or not it's a triple digit day or not. Nothing going on at the moment. We just got a little bit of cloud cover overhead, and we're going to stay with a kind of partly cloudy skies as we head into the overnight hours, and we'll be warm meat muggy and breezy 79 for the low tomorrow and then tomorrow afternoon hot and very hazy 98 for my high tomorrow with mostly sunny skies now Friday Saturday Sunday there could be a pop-up shower storm out there that 10 to 20 percent probably being a little bit generous in the coverage department uh, I think it's probably closer to 10 percent on all those days maybe even lower than that so I'm just being a little optimistic that we might see a shower storm out there but most of you absolutely will stay dry do not cancel any weekend plans at all just have a way to stay cool right on through the weekend and there's what I was talking about each and every day next week and probably even into the that upcoming weekend we are 100 or above